I just wanted to do a real quick video on how to uh, program your Baofeng radio. This is a UV5RA. Um, came with a base station to charge it, a battery, a clip here, and a antenna as well as a uh, little headset you could hook up to it. Let's get started. Just want to turn on the radio first and it comes up in channel mode where it may come up in um, frequency mode. You swap back and forth between channel mode and frequency mode by frequency hitting this little mode. button right here. Channel and what that does is that um, there's two modes here basically. The channels are the channels that you programmed in to the radio. That's not useful to you unless you program the radio yourself. So if you haven't programmed it yet, you want to go to frequency mode. Frequency mode. And that's where you type in your basic um, channels. And here what I'm going to do is, is I'll basically uh, I'll type in one of the GMRS um, locals that I've been using. That's a that's one of the uh, other, I can't remember if that's the input or output on the repeater, but uh, that's one of the frequencies that you can use for. It might actually be four six seven. Four, Regardless, uh, you need to really do your own research and find out what you need to program. Um, but basically, this is how you swap back and forth channel between mode. channel mode, mode and frequency mode. This is your A B button. This will designate which channel lineup you want to use. Now you can set the top channel or top, top frequency. I've actually got this in frequency mode now. I've put it in channel mode. Let's see, if I hit this AB button, it swaps. This little chevron, this little triangle, will move up and down every time I hit it. Okay, now That's basically just a quick swap between two frequencies at one time. You can make these two frequencies be monitored at the same time and you can give priority to the top or to the bottom by your uh, your settings in the radio but you can switch between channels by hitting these up and down keys right here seven, I've got all eight, kinds eight, of eight, frequencies seven, programmed seven, in I don't really want to go through them though um, I can do that at a later time you got three buttons here on the side you got to push to talk that's what you use to key the radio up you press and hold that for about half a second and then you broadcast your message hold it for about another half a second and then release it this is your call button you're going to use this in an event of, a, of an emergency this is your uh, um, this button right here is the monitor button you will press and release that to open up the squelch and if you want the squelch to stay open I'm pretty sure you just hold it down for however long you need to. And the squelch, what that does is that limits any um, any uh, interference or uh, low quality on the channel or uh, low low uh, signal. It has to be such uh, so strong of a signal for it to actually broadcast over the net and break through the squelch barrier whatever you have set in your settings you can have it set on low or set on high if it's set on low you'll have uh, various different messages come through that may be hard to read or hard to listen to if it's set on high it may only broad uh, allow people who are uh, very clear to come in so you need to adjust that accordingly um, all these buttons have various different functions whenever you go under the menu there's there's various different videos to show you how to manipulate the menu and all that stuff um, I don't really want to get into that today but here's your band frequency button that doesn't work under channel mode but you have to go back to frequency mode it will swap back and forth between the two bands and you've got the um, you've got the um, two meter band right here and you've got the 70 centimeter band okay now what happens there is they're, they're just different bands just like the AM FM on uh, on your radio basically um, they're just a basic allotment of frequencies now the Chevron is on the bottom here right if I wanted to change both of them to a, uh, a VHF which is what this is the 2 meter band it's, it's a VHF radio spectrum you're going to basically hit the band button and it swaps back and forth between VHF and UHF it's like going between AFM FM 
and AM on your uh, regular radio, on your like uh, your little transistor radio that you would listen to, you know, music on. But it's uh, it's just basically two different frequency sets that are available to ham radio operators. Um, GMRS is going to be on UHF, which is ultra high frequency, and two meter is on very high frequency VHF. So just a quick rundown, real quick, of uh, how you're going to program your your radio. Of course, I just wanted to give you a little uh, update on what it is. Basically, you can hook up your headset right here, or there's all kinds of different uh, upgrades you can buy. I bought a I bought a headset. I also bought a throat mic. Um, they're very cheap, like ten or twelve bucks or something like that. I bought a um, a double length antenna that I have on my other radio that gives a whole lot more gain on your radio where you can uh, you can receive and broadcast a whole lot better with it. Um, there's various different options here on the radio. There's a scan key right there. I don't know if you can see it. You just press and hold scan and it will scan. Now I've got this in frequency mode right now so it's going to go just directly up the frequency and stop at the top of the threshold that's set within within the radio. Now you can change the top of the threshold but whether it'll be accurate or not is not, you know, it's up to actually it, it'll only be, only be accurate so far. Um, for now I'm gonna stop. Uh, if I want to go to channel mode, channel mode it will scan through all the channels that I actually have preset. You see there's something coming in on uh, the Knoxville Gatlinburg um, repeater and what that was was that was the uh, if you hear that Morse code sound like that that's basically the uh, the repeater um, signing what uh, the radio call station is you'll need to know that I'm trying to be quiet because my my wife's trying to put my baby to sleep here but at this time I'm going to exit um, several different other things on here let's see Here's the lock key. You may need this down here at the bottom. It's just a little lock button. You just press and hold. Lock. And you can't change anything. You can press all these buttons, in, but you can still... Well, I better... I can't broadcast on Skyline. Unlock. Move back down to the GMRS channel. Lock. Lock. I can still... Broadcast. Now, whenever you key up on a repeater, you'll hear the repeater kick back. That's how you know the repeater is actually working a lot of times. So I'll key up right here, and then I'll let off. And you hear the radio just kick back right there. That's the repeater signaling back, basically, uh, just on a basic, uh, just a basic way to state it. Okay, so that's the radio. Now, what you're going to do is, is you're going to go over here to program it. You're going to need a cable which I'll have to go over there and get here in just a second. And then you're going to go in the, let me see if I can't turn up my, rate, my screen brightness. Okay, let's get you locked in here. All right, so what I did is I looked up, uh, let me go back here, ham radio repeaters on I was either Bing or Google. I went down here and I clicked on various different things and I researched the, uh, I'm trying not to shake here. It's hard to hold. You're going to, uh, you're just going to do your research. You're going to type in your location where you're at. I typed in Tennessee, Knoxville. You're going to go in and this right here is GMRS radio repeater. So I clicked on it and what I did is this right here came up all these little repeater numbers came in. Now, there's a, there's a lot of numbers to memorize, basically. But um, what you're gonna do is, is you want to look at these, this number right here, on this side, right here, and then you'll look at this PL tone. Of course, you wanna find one in your area, so I'm gonna go down to Knoxville. There's, uh, might actually have to go over. Yeah. Okay, here's the Knoxville area list, basically. All this down through here is Knoxville. So you just find your radio repeater that you want to program in. I program pretty much all the local repeaters in mine because it's got like 128 channel slots. Kind of gives you a little uh, 
notes on here what they are, but you want to know this number right here, the plus or minus sign, and the PL tone, which is right here. And what you're going to do is, is you're going to have to go into your radio by using a program that's called Chirp. You download Chirp, and you're going to open up a new file, of course, because you haven't programmed anything. You will click on zero here, and I just find it easier just to hit the delete button and go ahead and cancel that out, because it's just a default number. You open up the file here, and of course, I would open up, open, and my current file, but that's not going to help you any if I do that. So I'm going to open up the stock configuration, and if you look down through here, there's all kinds of stuff you can open up. You've got, uh, these are foreign channels. I think that's European, French. Here's your NOAA weather alert list. Open that up. It comes open in a different tab. You click on that tab, and you can just uh, see that they're right here. They're already uh, pre-programmed. There's no PO tone required because you're not broadcasting on these. And you want to make sure that these are skipped on the scan whenever anytime you type in or uh, put it on your input okay you're gonna click the uh, skip option on that um, the offset you don't have to worry about that that's the where the plus or minus sign goes that's where you want to put your plus or minus okay this is not necessary here because you're not going to be broadcasting here now there's all kinds of options on here. There's uh, tone, tone squelch, D, DTCS. Uh, those are all kinds of different things. The duplex. Um, those are all necessary whenever you're typing in stuff for repeaters. But if you're talking just radio to radio, simple walkie-talkie style, radio to radio, you're going to transmit what's called simplex. Okay. Duplex is whenever you talk on two different channels at one time. Basically, you're talking to the repeater, which is a tower, or a, somebody else's home base station they have set up with a big antenna, and then the repeater talks back on a separate channel, which is what's called duplex. Simplex is one, duplex is two. So that's where the plus or minus sign comes in. The plus or minus sign means it will be negative or positive, basically. And the offset is going to be completely determined by what um, standard uh, meter band that you want, you're on is complicated, okay? Just bear with me. The two meter band will be approximately, uh, I think it's 0 .06. Let me, let me look. I don't want to tell you wrong. Let me open up what I've got here. Okay, so these are simplex. I've got V simplex one, which is VHF simplex one, VH, v, VHF simplex two, VHF simplex three, UHF simplex one, UHF simplex two. Now, 146520 is the national call number for simplex. 446000 is the UHF uh, national call sign simplex. And if you look here, I've actually got this wrong. This needs to be an offset of nothing. This needs to be off, and this needs to be zero. I just now noticed that, which is a good thing. You will constantly be refreshing all of this stuff. Right. Now you don't want to fill anything in beyond this number right here because you're talking radio to radio. Now however, when you talk through a repeater, let me go down here through, let me just look at my GMRS repeaters. These are uh, family radio stations right here. This is like your basic, this right here is just your basic um, cheap Walmart radios that you can buy. Um, I've got my marine channels programmed in here, the Storm Spotter, Skywarn, uh, two NOAA weather stations that I've got right here. Uh, all my other repeaters are named uh, as the counties that they actually reside in, all the surrounding counties for Knoxville. 
here's my GMRS numbers right here. Now, I haven't done really good ranging on my numbers, um, but I'm currently working on that. So I go down here to my two main working um, GMRS repeaters. We'll stick with GMRS in Knoxville. So that's on a UHF frequency. So I've got it typed in here, 462600. GMRS KNX is the name that I've designated it. That's what's going to show up on my radio display. I'll show you here. Channel mode. See, GMRS Knox radio uh, channel 78 there. So, GMRS Knox is going to have a tone. You want to make sure it has tone. The other ones, make sure they have none if they don't have a tone. And the tone is 141.3, which there's all kinds of stuff you can select from. Um, now, if you want to understand what that means, basically, the radio transmits a uh, specific frequency, uh, an inaudible tone, while you're pressing the uh, push-to-talk button, and it basically opens the squelch on the repeater. So you go over here, and you type your plus or minus, and since it is UHF, ultra-high frequency, it will be plus plus sign 5.0 and it was I did have 5 on there but it just canceled it out 5.0 okay I've got it on FM which is frequency modulation and this right here is narrow FM that's to transmit transmit narrow I've got it set on high power and uh, basically then that allows me to key up on the repeater and talk, and that's on channel 78 here, as you can see. Um, and that's just a basic rundown of how to um, how to program all your stuff into Chirp. Now, there's other sources you can use to get um, all of your repeater information. Um, you can go to Knoxville Amateur Radio right here. Um, What's well, I'm sorry, repeaterbuilt.com. And you go down through here, and it gets, you can get all your information right here. Here's your frequency. I don't know why that's got an X next to it, and I don't know why it has an S. But this one right here, 145170, is got a peel tone of 118.8. And here's the location, Knoxville View Park Hill. Here is the call sign of the repeater, and that's the status right there. And you can see there's all kinds of repeaters here. Down here is the UHF spectrum. You've also got several different web pages that list various different frequencies. As you can see, you just key in everything you need. And you've got a huge database right here. Let's go back. Hang on. Where did I find that? QSL.net. There's the website. Go over here to rollinet.org. I don't know. I found it on I found it on Google or Bing. And here's your uh, your list lineup of every all of your frequencies. You just scroll down through here. And I should have covered everything, I believe. Um, that should be everything, but those are not your only sources. You can dig up all kinds of other sources on the net. Just uh, just be careful and make sure you've got your proper licensing. Um, I will do another video on how to do your FCC licensing for both GMRS and how to do your licensing for, um, for ham radio. Um, that'll be my, my next video, but I just wanted to go ahead and do this one and share it with you guys to get a quick rundown on how to how to operate this stuff. So if you have any questions please uh please send it to me or comment in the com comments below. And let me know what you think, uh, if I left anything out or if I said anything correct incorrect. Please uh please share that too. Um you know I'm kinda new to this but uh you know I, I know I make mistakes so does everybody else so I would like your input and your help but uh thanks for watching. Thank you. Be sure to visit my website AP3Nation.com. Thanks.